Good morning friends, welcome back to Panika Tutorials. We have various tasks involved in the artificial intelligence. The tasks such as problem solving, knowledge representation and reasoning, decision making, communication, perception and equitation. In the last few videos, I have already discussed about the problem solving, knowledge representation and reasoning and then decision making. I hope you have watched those videos. If you did not watch those videos, I request you to go back and watch those videos and come back to this video. In this video, I want to discuss about communication, perception and equitation and also I want to discuss about the actual relationship between the artificial intelligence and data science. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. First, let me discuss about the communication. You want to design an agent to communicate with the human. Now, whenever we want to design an agent for those activities, the agent should do the two things. One is that it has to understand what the human is speaking. Then the agent should send the reply. So, agent should understand the language. So, the agent need to understand the language and also the agent should generate the long ways. So it involves two tasks such as long ways understanding and long ways generation. The long ways understanding and long ways generation comes in the domain called natural long ways processing. Okay. In natural long ways processing earlier we used to use the export systems right from the 1950 to 1980s but from 1980s we started using the machine learning techniques to solve the problems involved in the natural language processing start from the 2010 we are using the deep learning models to solve the problems related to the natural language processing so we have large amount of data now whenever we have a large amount of data we will go for the deep learning techniques to solve the problems. But when it comes to the machine learning techniques, we need to extract the features from the data and those features we need to provide to the uh, classifier, then it will classify the things. But when it comes to the deep learning models, we no need to give any features. The model itself will learn the features from the hidden layers, then it will classify the things. So, that's why people started using the deep learning techniques to solve the problems related to the natural language processing. So what I want to say is that in natural language processing, we started using the data, am I right? And also the data modeling is also involved. Similarly, when it comes to the perception, in what is meant by perception? The agent should learn by looking at the things. Similarly, let's take that. If you look at this video, you will understand about the communication, perception, and equitation. Similarly, an agent should also learn from the things which is can be visible. Am I right? So you need to look at this domain called computer vision. The computer vision solves a lot of problems related to the perception. Now even in the computer vision, we used to use the expert systems to solve the problems. But from 1980s and 2010, we started using the machine learning and deep learning techniques respectively. Because we have large amount of data. Suppose let's take that I given a car, then the model should classify it as a car. Similarly, if I given a video, okay, which is a sequence of frames, then it has to tell what this video consists of. Suppose let's take that I have given a video where someone is doing the yoga or a Surya Namaskar. Then my model has to classify that it is the people are doing the Surya Namaskar. Am I right? Even if I give a photo, it has to tag the people. Am I right? These are the tasks involved in the computer vision. So nowadays we are using the machine learning and deep learning techniques to solve the problems related to the computer vision. So even in the computer vision, the data is there, which is a huge amount of data and we are using the data modeling. Am I right? Similarly, coming to the equitation. Okay. So the equitation is nothing but performing an action. We want to design an agent to perform the actions, which is nothing but your robots. 
will design the robots to perform the actions. So there, reinforcement, sorry, reinforcement learning we are using. So even in the reinforcement learning, we are using the large amount of data and the data modeling. Am I right? So what I want to say is that communication, perception, and equitation. We have the large amount of data, and we are using the data modeling. Am I right? So. If you look at the actual task involved in the data science, the data science tasks such as data collection, data storing, data processing, data describing, and then modeling of the data. So these are the tasks involved in the data science. One is that collecting the data, let me write it in shortcut as C, then storing of the data, which is described as S, then we have the processing of the data, then describing of the data, and then we have the modeling of data. Now coming to the task involved in the artificial intelligence, you have the problem solving, knowledge representation, and reasoning. Then we have the decision making, and then we have the communication, perception, and equitation. Now if you look at the problem solving, knowledge representation and reasoning, the data is not involved and data modeling is not involved. But when it comes to the decision making, communication, perception and equitation, the data is involved and then the data modeling is also there. So what I want to say is that these two tasks does not involve with the data science because data is not there. But when it comes to these two tasks, the data is involved. So these tasks have a relationship between the data science. Am I right? Because in the decision making also, suppose let's take that I want to design an agent to check whether it is a COVID patient or not. So what I need to do, I need to collect the data related to the chest X-ray images. Am I right? Because if I want to say that by looking at the X-ray images of the chest, I want to say whether it is a COVID patient or not. So if this is my task, then what I will do? I will collect the data related to the chest X-ray images. Then I will store the data either in the data warehousing or in the data leaks. Then I will process the data, whether the data is a noisy data or not, or the what are the images we have taken, few images are not useful, am I right? The, that is what we will call it as a processing. Then we will describe the data. Out of this, suppose let's take that I have taken some 3000 images. Out of these 3000 images, how many are the images related to the COVID positive? How many images are related to the COVID negative? Am I right? So that is what you need to describe the data. Am I right? Then we have to model the data. So you need to You need to estimate the function f from the data and the learning algorithms. Once you estimate the function, you need to give the new input, then it has to predict the things. This is what the main task involved in the deep learning. Am I right or not in deep learning or in the machine learning? We'll estimate this complex function f using the given data and the learning algorithms. Then once the model is been estimated or the function has been estimated, we'll give the new input, then it has to predict the things. So this is what I want to say. Similarly, whenever there is a problem related to the perception, we need to collect the data, we need to store the data, we need to process the data, we need to describe the data, then more data modeling is there. So what I want to say is that in these two tasks of the artificial intelligence, the data science is involved. So how I can say the relationship between the artificial intelligence and data science. Let's take that this is an artificial intelligence. This is the data science. Now, one is not subset of another. Am I right? A lot of people think that one is subset of another. But if you look at one is intersect to another because the tasks such as data, not data, decision making, communication, perception, and equitation, the data science is involved. There are tasks such as problem solving, knowledge representation and reasoning, the data is not required. So this is the actual relationship between the artificial intelligence and data science. Lot of people will think that artificial intelligence and data science are synonyms. Some people will think that they are not 
any relationship is there between the artificial intelligence and data science. Some people will think that one is subset of another, but this, this is the actual relation. I hope you have understood what is the communication, what is the perception, what is an equitation, and what is the actual relationship between the artificial intelligence and data science. If you still have any doubts related to this concept, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts as early as possible. Thank you for watching the complete video. Have a nice day.